After his fourth consecutive PGA Tour victory, Tiger Woods arrives at the tee for his first duel in the desert, the Accenture Match Play Championship. Get ready for one of the most exciting days in all of golf. The beautiful earth tones of the high Sonoran Desert serve as the backdrop for this unique PGA Tour event. The two-time Accenture Match Play champion Tiger Woods is ready for his first match against J.B. Holmes. Let's get down to the first tee. This is the 12.02 starting time. Players for this match are from the United States, Tiger Woods. And from the United States, J.B. Holmes. Mr. Woods has the honor. Play away, please. Tiger's the only player in history to make it to three Accenture match play finals. He won back to back in 2003, 2004. And as I said earlier, chasing his fourth consecutive PGA Tour victory, dating back to the BMW Championship in September of 2007. Mark Rolfing following this group. And this one is headed right, well right. Wow. All right, so long for the ride today, Nick Faldo, and your reaction to that shot, Nick? Wow, it's a big wow, wasn't it? We could see, I can see it a mile off. He just, he uh, is so stuck coming through that the left arm even looks like it's starting to, you know, bow at uh, impact. Now a first time participant. J.B. Holmes, a big draw today. Oh, this is a low pull. I think these guys are thinking about it, Mark Rolfin. <laughs> oh, not what you uh, want to start off with here, Nick. Well, I've had a long time to think about this match. This will be a uh, quite a sensational match. Back to the first tee. This is the shot that Tiger Woods struck. Excuse me, that's live. He was out of bounds off the tee, and that is his third shot, Nick. Well, that's quite shocking. I, I can't imagine Tiger stood on that practice ground this morning, working out his, going through his usual routine, and I guarantee he wasn't visualizing that was going to be his opening tee shot. Uh, At the first and the second shot of J.B. Holmes, Mark. Well, Kelly, uh, J.B.'s ball pitched into the bunker and then skipped out to the top lip. And of course, with Tiger out of bounds, he's going to play this completely differently now. He's only got 285 to the hole, but I think this is actually going to end up probably short and right. That is what he has done. And that is the nature of match play. So not exactly the start they dreamed of in their first round of the 2008 Accenture Match Play Championship. Fourth shot now for Tiger. 264 yards from the right hand rough. And this is a low cut. Well, it's gonna be a great shot. It's, oh, it just sat down. I thought that was going to go bounding on. While we were away, this was the third shot of J.B. Holmes at the par five first. Yeah, he may be kind of wondering for a few seconds what's happening. He just has to play smart and uh, think two putts for a five. Tiger's got to hole it from the front for a five. The fifth shot now, Mark, of Tiger Woods. Well, one he is certainly thinking about holding, pretty much has to. They have just a little right hand break in the middle. So now JB Holmes just two putts needed to win the first hole. It'd be interesting if Tiger makes him putt them either to uh, say get on with it or not to give the other, not to give his uh, opponent chance to uh, get the feel of the greens. Yeah, looks like he's. 
Nobody I guess else, that's been conceded, yeah. Nobody else did say these greens are very, very fast. Yeah. Very interesting dynamic here. Tiger Woods was conceded his putt. I would say it's about three feet, but he did not concede JB's. Oh, JB's been putting great with his new spider putter. Put it in the bag to win Phoenix. So, uh, just like that, JB Holmes one up. It wasn't pretty, but it was effective. This was Tiger Woods' second shot at the par four second. 197 yards and trying to play a big draw. It looked like Nick around that tree. It sure did look. He did it. That's yeah. probably what he was rehearsing on the first, on the practice ground this morning. Then he opens with that tee shot and on one. And JB Holmes had this second shot from the right rough. Well, that a little deep, so Tiger inside of JB. And JB Holmes, according to shot length, 62 feet, 8 inches. Got a little bit of left hand break in it in the beginning, I believe, Gary, and then should straighten out as it gets closer to the hole. JB went to this uh, belly putter uh, toward the end of the year last year. Uh, remember when he won Phoenix for the first time a couple of years ago, he used the claw grip and a normal length putter, but as most golfers do, uh, trying to uh, improve. Felt like this was a better way to putt. Certainly paid off a couple of weeks ago in Phoenix with a couple of clutch putts on the 72nd hole and then on the first hole of the playoff to beat Phil Mickelson. Yeah, Going to be slow at the end. It's back up against the mountain. Let's get back to the second. Tiger Woods. Birdie putt, chance to win the hole, square the match. Oh, what a good putt. And I think Tiger felt like he had it. Oh. So now Holmes with uh, a testy putt for par mark. Well, it is, Gary, and you know, just watching JB, this is kind of an interesting situation. He All right, good confidence stroke there. So JB Holmes remains one up over Tiger Woods after two. Well, for JB, it's probably an easy six. He's even more lofts than that. That was probably a seven. Well, it is very high in the air, that's for sure. <laughs> Carried it all the way up there. Right. Yeah, well, the boys were saying, the European boys were saying the greens are a lot softer than last year, so that's, uh, you can see the slopes behind it. So he's hit it in the ideal spot. A little left of the pin is the number one spot to, to come from. Nine o'clock. And now Tiger Woods, who spent the better part of five hours out here on Monday, Mark, familiarizing himself with the grounds once again. Long practice session. Wind is picked up just a little now, and it's coming from his right. Just suit a nice little power fade. Don't think he's thrilled at that one. No, a little tug. It's a drama's Kelly. Oh, my goodness. Plenty of it at the start. Tiger hasn't won for two weeks. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> he's in a drought. Back at the par three third and second shot for Tiger Woods. Up the hill with the putter from just off the green. And JB Holmes just some 20 feet away for his birdie. So he'll have a chance to win this hole and go two up on Tiger. Now JB Holmes trying to win the third hole. Oh, and he's rolling wow. it beautifully. He sure is. That's. Let's go to the tee box at four. JB Holmes off and running. And that one is headed long and left. Yeah, I could see that arcing uh, bit of a 
over draw. These guys the, are getting a full desert tour, Nick. Yeah. I hope that Wildcat's not out there this year, <laughs> like last year, because it'd be... So now Tiger Woods, who actually defeated Adam Scott in the semis in 2003. Scott took Tiger two extra holes, but Woods able to top him. Now two down to J.B. Holmes in the early going. He's got the ball teed very low. Nick, he had some trouble with this tee shot last year, but he this did, one's up it? the left-hand side today. Yeah, went with a little shorter swing and a little uh, hold-off fade. It didn't come back. Remember, it took him quite a while last year just to find a place to take a drop off for T, but he knows where that one is and where he stands in this match. Back to the fourth. And Tiger Woods, first to play, Mark? He is first to play. He's got 179 to the hole. J.B. Holmes, I believe, has a shot. His ball just got through the cart path and into sort of the desert scruff, but it's a clean line. I think he'll be able to get it at least up near the green. He is up ahead about 100 yards, and he's going to watch Tiger play this shot. That will dictate what J.B. does. What's that breeze doing, Mark? A little bit into him, Nick. I'm going to say five, eight miles an hour, maybe. Yeah, it's only 60-odd degrees here, so... See Tiger making a conscious effort to keep that one down. And another little tweak left and short side in himself. He has 164 to the hole, but I am thinking he's probably not even considering the hole location. Plenty of room to the right. I do not believe he knows where Tiger's ball ended up. Yeah, we, we can't. As we can see, he's got uh, blind. So he's trying to get his footing comfortable. Ooh. Not one of those practice swings wow, touched like... that bush, and in the back swing it did. Where's it going? It is short and right of the green. Not too bad a spot, but just clipped one of those branches. Yeah, it came out very late and low, that one. Live with Tiger Woods at the fourth. That's his third shot. Nearly drops it. J.B. Holmes just short and right of the green. And this happened while we were away. J.B.'s third. Very fiddly shot over the hump in the front of the green. See, he gets so late on it and so aggressive across the book that had sides, a bit of English on it. We would back to the fourth. And JB holds wow. another clutch putt that was to have the hole with Tiger Woods. And he gets the little MOIs working for him. Moment of inertia. Good length to get some spin. I'm thinking of myself, of course, 83 yards. JP's a slightly stronger animal. That's a lovely shot. Yeah, your matchup against Tiger. I was 64 <laughs> moves ago, but I, I was sliding downwards. My 64 I was. <laughs> JP's climbing up. The, well, what was the, that experience the, like for you, Nick? What was it, 99? 99. It was horrible. He won four and three. Yeah. Should have given me shots. Okay, Tiger's third. Two aside. Some serious speed under that. No divot. Oh, yeah. That is not a good shot at all. Wow. What is. Oh, and there is a tremendous break right there. That ball ended up in one of the little sprinkler heads. It would have rolled another at least 20 or 30 feet down the hill. I thought he was playing pinball. Fourth shot for Tiger Woods at the fifth. He is going to actually chip this ball. Oh, and he's got a, a, a biter. And it's not going to get up there. And the Tiger is clearly out of sorts in this first round of match play. And this is not a, a very difficult putt. I got to think he's going to forget about Tiger and just try and put this one right in and go to the next hole. He's looking very confident with that putter. Unfazed, J.B. Holmes taking care of the number one seed. Will Tiger Woods turn it around? It's 
way. Tiger Woods at six, his second shot. And again, drops the club in the... Well, I think that's all right. Maybe he was trying to get on the other side to leave a, an uphill putt, but that's certainly better than the last few he's hit. It's almost swings like a square version of, of Lee Trevino. Ooh. That one was well up in the air and just yeah. ballooned in the wind, knocked it right out of the sky. Back at the sixth, J.B. Holmes, third shot from the bunker. Tiger Woods already on the green. Well, he needs to dig deep, literally. Great shot. That's very good. Tiger for birdie to win the sixth hole. Now, this will be a really big message either way, if Tiger makes or misses. I guess which one, guess which one Tiger chose. <laughs> Send the message that way. Okay, Tiger's alive and kicking. Don't panic, folks. Out to the seventh oh. and take a look at this. Speaking wow. of a cactus. <laughs> well, one caught a ball off the tee on number seven. I doubt if it was from one of our professionals, but that's certainly not a visual that, uh, as a player, you'd like to see before you drive. Tiger on the tee, 318 yard par four, playing back into the wind. And this is a driver. And he hit this one very hard, headed just a little bit up the right-hand side. Well, there's a little oh. ridge there, and if you get on the wrong side of the ridge, the ball kicks well away from the hole, and that, if it's, it gets on that cart path, it is. could go way down there. There's a guy holding his head, and the, and the ball's going between his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, buddy. Yeah, so, uh, not a good shot by Woods there. Wonderful hole for match play, Nick. Uh, I love these drivable par fours. So much strategy involved. And yeah, I agree. Well, it's just a, it's just a ballistic bullet for these guys. Not much strategy now. They just well, isn't that the truth? JB, fact, is, JB with a three wood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, Stenson flew it on here last year, yeah. which we all gasped at. So uh, JB can easily do this. Yeah, it makes sense. Tiger's got a, a fiddly shot, so if you can just get it. Uh, well, just right in front of the green is actually yeah. a very good position. Don't, don't be super aggressive. I mean, he actually hit an absolute peach, didn't he, at that 17th at Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Put it in the front of the, front of the green there. And, yeah, uh, and that's good. That's in nice shape. Uh, just a nice, simple little pitch right down the valley of the green. Back to Tiger. All right. Is the situation and uh, Mark had to drop the ball in the uh, waste sand area. He did it to me, Gary, like looking up in the air to try and go over the bush. So he will need to hit this one very. Yeah, you come up just a little bit short and you're going to land on a bank that ball will come back some 10 or 12 yards right back toward him. Yeah, you got to make a conscious he effort to hit down, haven't you guys? Otherwise, the thing will the bounce on the club mm -hmm. will jump up skin the ball a little bit. I'm sure Tiger will play is pretty aggressive, I reckon. Sure did. Oh. Oh, oh, very nicely done. Actually, a little side slope there. Ball funnels back toward the hole a little. Beautifully played. Back to J.B. Holmes at the seventh. Just a moment ago, very straightforward pitch here. Land the ball and let it release to the hole, although it is running away. And boy, that not a good shot, Nick. That was just too low and not enough spin. Over at seven just a moment ago. This is the birdie putt for Holmes. Back uphill, not much break. No. So all of a sudden, Tiger is going to have a chance to win a hole when it looked like he was well out of position, Mark Rolfing. Well, it's a very critical juncture in this match. I certainly think at least for J.B. Holmes, Gary. Tiger got a look at J.B.'s putt coming from the other side of the hole. This one very quick and moves Ooh. to the right. Now, that was not a good stroke. I don't know whether he misread that or what, but... Uh, that ball was well right as soon as it was hit. So Tiger Woods with an opportunity lost there. Well, you want to come in from the left here on this shot. 
obviously short or short and right is no good at all. This one is right at it. Ooh. This one is way right. Yeah, that's not good at all. My goodness. I mean, that was, everything was, I was just about to jump in and say all his mannerisms are so quick, practice swings, that, you know, his, at a, yeah, you can play like a recoil shot. You can, you can thump it in there and actually try and pull the, the club head out. So it's like no follow through. It's a bit like, it. A bit like having when you're in a in an accident in your car, don't look at the wall because that's what you're going to hit. Oh no! Jeez! Don't look at your club either. <laughs> well, he's lucky he didn't hurt his hand, and the yeah. ball is now stuck in a bush up here on the side of the hill. So, so that I think done. he might just go right over the next yeah, tee. He's had enough of that one. One of the classic next. differences between match play <laughs> and stroke play. Likely would have never done that in stroke play situation. Take a look at the lie now for. J.B. Holmes, not much prettier, Mark. Well, J.B. Holmes is going to get another ruling here. His ball is now stuck in the bush, and he wants to know if he can't pull it out in fear of being stuck by a cactus or something, that can he play a different ball? I would think the answer is no, if he's taking an unplayable lie, which he said he's going to do. Well, what's he trying to chip in for, then? Well, it's getting he's actually going to now. Go, I think what he's going to do, Nick, is go back down to the bottom, keep that point between he's himself playing four. and the hole. That's his fourth shot now. Well, Tiger's still over the green. Yeah. You, know, you could, yeah. I guess, make an argument Tiger might make a four, but yeah, he's going to now drop it down in this waste area and play his fourth. He's just trying to annoy Tiger, you know, keep him out there, cool him down, chill him off. What would you do? I'm, I'm not sure him. that's going to work. <laughs> You'd annoy him. I'd try my best to, anyway. If you're feeling confident, oh, and it's plugged. Boy, I think he's getting a quick message that yeah, get on with this one and pick it up. Wow, oh my. what a shot. Oh, well, he might know more than we do. So what's he got that for now? For five? Yeah, Tiger Woods, lying one. He just conceded, Nick. Okay. Oh, yeah, I wonder why. Okay. <laughs> yeah, looks like Tiger just got the word. But we'll go to nine first. Par four, 448 yards long. Tiger Woods' second shot underway. This from 157 up the hill. Gave it, you could see that, gave it an extra flick with the right arm to save it from going right and head down. Not so, just a moment ago, the second shot of J.B. Holmes. Get on. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Get on. Come on. Get on there. Fabulous shot. Got a lot of support as well with the galleries. So we'll join Tiger Woods now live with his third shot that got away from him, Mark. And it's not the easiest of pitch shots, very much up the hill. And he needs to be careful. He needs to carry it up on top, get it to stay up there. Yeah, it's got to be kind of low and aggressive, but not hard. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Hold the phone. JB is going to have two bites of that cherry. So if you're JB Holmes, you see Tiger Woods playing like this. What are you saying to yourself? My right. goodness. Quickly to the ninth, Tiger Woods for par. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> and so does Tiger. Oh, JB Holmes. He's given. He's got two. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah. Takes Take. another one from Tiger Woods. Wow. Two up. Remember, Tiger Woods was four down to Nico Hearn through seven holes last year and did muscle his way back to push extra holes, still falling to O'Hearn in the end. Back to the tenth, second shot for Tiger Woods on this par five. Yeah, with the, you can see with the uh, little ravine running all the way 
up to the front edge. Oh, that's a great shot. Powers it all the way there. First playoff. What do you make of this pre-shot routine? You've seen just quite a, lot, a bit of it lately. Yeah, just a lot going on. It, it, it seems like he, you know, he takes him a while to get to match the, the feel to what he's visualizing. Well, this club did not have a lot of loft on it, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that looks pretty free. That's a good shot. Could have squeezed that one further or maybe another club. Back at the par 5 10th, Tiger Woods for Eagle from just over 38 feet. That was to win the hole. Oh, neat. Very unusual to see Tiger walking after a putt. J.B. Holmes already in with birdie and Tiger with work left. Oh, serious work for a half. Well, it looks more break on TV, Mark. It looks like, I don't know, it looks like he's aiming well left of the hole. Oh, he sure is. Yeah. Oh, sneaks it. Take oh, it any way oh. you can get it. Tiger Woods and J.B. Holmes have the 10th hole. Holmes still two up. Speaking of 11, let's go there. Just a moment ago, Tiger Woods, his second shot at the par four. Sneaky pin on that front corner. So you can spin it back. Yes, and it will, should come out of that pool. Stuck. And we remember a while back with Sergio Garcia and all the rigging that he was doing, yeah. slowing things down. The crowd eventually got to him. Obviously, that's not the case here with JB, but it certainly is lengthy. I can't imagine it will get to Tiger, but you see he struggled with that. As I was saying, a little bit too close to the green. He couldn't get the spin. I, you know, a player of his strength, um, I should think he'd try a 64 degree one day. But he's enjoying this putter. Good touch. Clutch putts at two and three from long ranges. Good roll there. And now back to Tiger Woods. And what's the read here, Mark? Well, he saw JB's turn a little bit to the right, but I'm, I'm just sitting here watching Tiger Kelly, thinking about early in the week, he was talking about match play and the difference between that and stroke play. He said if you get two or three down with, let's say, seven or eight to go, it's harder to come back in match play than it is in stroke play. And now that's exactly where he is. That ball was airborne. He ripped it. Yeah. And that is no gimme. Tiger for par to have the hole. And he gets it done. A good push on that birdie putt. He left himself something to think about there. And Got to really hit a field goal right there between those saguaro cactus. Trying to hit a fade, Mark. Is it fading enough? Not enough, no. I don't oh. think. Gary's He's carried it into it the into green side. Ten yards bunker. into the green. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was pretty impressive. Oh, my. Oh. Unbelievable. Okay, Tiger. Uh, that probably would have gone over the green, carried that about 315 yards in the air. All right, now, Tiger. He's got it aimed a little bit down the left also, it looks like. That one's out to the right, and that carries plenty far. Oh, gets a great break there. If that ball scoots through that gallery, it could run right into the desert. Could have an awkward pitch as the hole is cut up on a little shelf, but uh, Tiger Woods getting ready for his second. Up and over a hump, down and through a valley, and then up and over another hump. Oh, the hole. Hit the hole. oh what touch. What touch. Carried it all the way up top onto the shelf. 
Beautifully played. All right, look. And it's all uphill from where JB is to the yeah. whole location. And he's hit this really firm. He can give this a real good kind of hard splat, splat the sand. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Bite, bite there you bite. go. Yeah, very well played. That's brilliantly played. Yeah. He's under pressure. It's a good response to Tiger. Got to show he's got the metal. You know, and so to confuse it, so now he's got to de-accelerate, obviously. If he hits it that hard, it'll go softer and... All right, well done. So a nice up and down for Birdie. Adds the hole with Tiger Woods, remains two up as they move to 13. Back at the 13th tee, Tiger Woods two down to J.B. Holmes, a first-time participant in the Accenture Match Play Championship. Very elevated tee shot, Kelly, down to the fairway. I'm going to say 40 feet below. Can, oh, my goodness. Could be shades of the first. Hmm. Tiger went out of bounds on the first hole. Had to re-tee, and we will anxiously await the result of that shot. JB struck just before him. That was a nice, <laughs> smooth tempo for JB. It just whistles it down there, probably about a little 320. We were looking plus. forward to measuring these two drives yeah. all day long. We haven't had a chance because rarely are they both touching the short. Well, run. Tiger Woods lie is not good at all, Steve Sands. In fact, it is unplayable. And the question now, is he going to take two club lengths and try and come out sideways? Or is he going to go back and keep that point between him and the hole? Looks like he's going to try and go sideways here. Regardless, it will be a very difficult third shot. Two appearances here in Marana. Tiger has seen a lot of the desert brush. Well, J.B. Holmes did not come over here, Kelly, yeah. but Tiger oh, yelled over. You'll that, break it doing that, Tiger. I don't think he cares about that. Need a new one. Anyway, just to continue, Tiger did yell over to J.B. to tell him that he was taking an unplayable lie. So J.B. is aware of how many shots Tiger has played thus far. Yeah, Mark, it's... Oh, we managed to pick the stone out. I should think he couldn't care less of it. <laughs> I remember the bigger stone that Six. he ran up against in the desert many years ago in but Phoenix. It's a 10 ton one. Wait, wait, how many ton was that? A good, good ton, I guess. And about 20 <laughs> people picked it up and moved it. All of his friends. Well, he's going to have five holes to play after this one, Nick. And if he gets to three down, that's a big, big yeah. lead for JB. Three is way different than two. And he's. Couldn't care too much about this one. He's just hitting this on the run. So, remnants of number one, the first hole of this match. Tiger with trouble off the tee and and he's sticking to his game plan, Nick. His pre-shot routine, as unusual as it is, he's been sticking to it all day. Yeah, well, that's that's the way he's playing. Is you don't. That's the most important thing when you play against Tiger. You've got to have the ability to do the same, do your own thing, all the time, and that's fine. That's a smart shot. That front corner there all falls off. During the break, Tiger Woods had this fourth shot at 13. After taking an unplayable. Off the tee. <laughs> Still trying to pull off the, uh, the impulse. He's missing Tiger Woods. It's the only time that's happened in round one. 64 seed winning. Yeah, so he's gone for the high, soft one, feed it. Oh, he might be putting that one. Nope, Tiger's seen enough. JB Holmes, three up for the second time in this match. And they head to the 14th much his the way he fires the, for me personally the way he fires his right knee towards the ball that I think he gets a little stuck on but I'm sure Hank's got it all mapped out for the next practice session this one looks pretty good yeah exactly there we go gives himself a really good chance absolutely has to make it to really turn the throw a little bit 
bracket mania in effect. J.B. Holmes, three up over Tiger Woods. Great roll. Back to the Woods-Holmes match and Mark Rolfing. Well, everything on this part of the green falls toward the back, so Tiger Woods' ball will roll toward the right. He's got 14 feet, one inch. situation yeah. he does it we knew that was happening so now as i said a little bit of scare factor two to easily get one more out of the next two holes and then it's all down to nerves 15th tee and finally tiger with the honor certainly something he wants Oh, settle down. Not many players can do that, Nick. No. Com com complete awareness of where his club is. <laughs> Loves that three word, lovely little semi stinger. Tiger in great position there off the tee. Well, that's very much the professionals, the anti-hook. That's definitely the way that JB's body works as well. Puts the ball well forward. And you watch how well he gets his powers, his stomach through the ball. Go, Tiger! And again, one in the fairway and yeah, that's one in the rough. Down. Rolled to number one. Tiger from 153. Whole location back right. Mm -hmm. Here he comes, another chance. Look at that right edge as they play it. JB's got to avoid that, so he's going to, so from where? So he's going to have to play out safe. Coming. Kind of playing away from the whole location. Oh, maybe not. Straight at it. Get Will the backspin. It hang on. That's pretty good. Or you hold it, but. Well, after what he saw and what he's seen of Tiger over yeah. all the years, you got to expect Tiger to make it. Well, exactly. But you don't. Want, you can't take a run at it. You don't want to give one. Don't want to give one away. Oh, light. So that is a big mistake. He could oh, still be away. That's when the, uh, the situation just suddenly hit him. Mark, who's going to be away there? Okay, Holmes. Big mistake there. The three putt from just off the back of the green. And now Tiger Woods with two putts to win this hole to pick off back-to-back -back holes. Got to be a nervous time for J.B. Holmes right now, yeah, I would exactly. think, Nick. Very, very, very. I mean, that was the just the one, we say, the one thing he couldn't do, just, just lag it down in a four-foot circle, at least to make Tiger have a go, just to show off. Oh. Woods, one down. Sixth birdie of the day. <laughs> Tiger with the momentum. And Mark uh, very carefully trying to figure out wind direction. In this yeah, as, Ray. as Roger said, Gary, it's really laid down. Uh, you know, it's pretty much right behind him. I like Tiger's up, ability please, to you. bring it in from the right here better than JB's coming in from the left because this hole is cut just five paces from the left edge. Yeah, and you cannot afford to miss the green left. A lot of bad things over there. Yeah, and that's that's been Tiger's miss, hasn't it, with the with shorter the clubs? Yeah. So it's, even I mean, even Tiger will have to think about this one. Oh, like nice right foot! What yeah. on 
earth are we yeah, seeing today? Yeah, we just missed it just right at the flag. Oh, we, that was a, <laughs> that was a new hold off, the new Tiger hold off. Wow. Fade. That with an eight iron. And, uh, <laughs> man. It's, it, you watch this foot go. Tension on the right foot. This is Tiger doing his best at dancing with the stars. Whoa. Well, in a way, Nick, it wasn't bad because it forced his right knee to stay back, didn't it? <laughs> I said I knew he was working on something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It looked like the old Greg Norman slide, the tire that uh, Greg used to have with his right. Stakes are pretty high for this young man right now. J.B. Holmes has taken eight iron, Mark. Yeah, and all his misses have gone right. Now it's 175 yards with a little helping wind, so I wouldn't think it'd be a huge eight iron for him. He just wants to make sure he gets through it and gets balance finish. Oh, Looked like a good swing. That's headed just right at the flag. Oh, yeah, wow. just right. And nice distance control as well. So J.B. Holmes and I answers the call have to try to capitalize on that kind of momentum. Tiger Woods certainly has done that as we catch up with this group. And he has this birdie putt for three in a row. Gary, I would think even though he's further from the hole than J.B. Holmes, he likes the fact that he is going to putt first here. All right, and Nick, a good look at uh, the line. Yeah, what's that about? A uh, couple of cups, right? Just from just under 22 feet, slightly back uphill. times have we seen it in the past? Remember all those U.S. amateurs always down, always able to come back. You know, Gary, so often with Tiger, and it's felt like this for the last hour to me, it's just a matter of time. One more look. Very firm stroke. Ball hugging the ground beautifully and right into the center of the hole. There's the reaction that we've come to know. Hmm. Uppercut that time, yeah. And JB uh, Holmes, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. shaking his head. And then you've got to start. Hey, look at that. That's a great picture. <laughs> That's sending a good message. Arms folded and uh, def all full defenses are up. <laughs> Tiger was swapping gloves. Go, go, go. To stay up. Uh. Uh. All of a sudden, the match is all square. It hasn't been all square since the very first tee. Tiger losing the first hole, going one down. I guarantee he releases it properly this time. Well, it's a it's a huge area of grass. There's no doubt, Nick, from one side to the other. It's probably close to 100 yards. Yeah, it's just a free swing at this one. See how he's teed it up right on the line. The mow line there to help him. This one is ahead a little bit right. Well, that's going to find the rough. He's going to have to get fortunate with the line. He does. And it looks like it popped up right at the last second. Gary, I think he will aim this right at the right hand corner of the left fairway bunker. Just peel it off it a little bit. Perfect opportunity to take advantage of his length right yeah. here. Well, if he can belt one out there, 340. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Through the air, that is, folks. Oof. Boy, that was a hard swing. Boy, it's right on that line, too. Just right of the bunker. Oh, oh beautiful. It's a 340-yard carry <laughs> to the it's middle so of that bunker, and oh. that is out there. J.B. Holmes, a huge drive at 17. We'll be right back. Tiger Woods, J.B. Holmes, match now all square at the 17th hole. Tiger to play his second shot at the par five first. Mark? He's got 282 yards, Gary, up the hill, but downwind. And I like the lie for this shot. It's it's sitting nicely. They'll get be a little grass between the club head and the ball, but it should come out flying. What's he got, Mark? Three or five wood? I think it's the three. Get in the hole! Good call. 
Boy, this is good looking. <laughs> that should chase oh. because it's coming out of the rough. There we go. So Tiger safely aboard at the 601 yard par five. Well, he got this one plenty high. It's hit it just a little left of the flag. And carries right oh, into wow. the center of the green. Beautifully played shot. Carried that about 250 yards in the air, Nick. And J.B. Holmes, lengthy eagle putt, just over 47 feet. Big swing from left to right. And one mark that'll have plenty of speed as it gets down near the hole. That is not where he wanted to leave it, I don't no, believe, you Gary. You have to be thinking that uh, he had uh, visions of the 15th green in his mind when he raced it so far by. For sure, this putt uh, just over 36 feet. Well, he obviously knows the line, Gary, because he just had JB move his coin over one club head. So JB's roll, even though it came up short, was right on Tiger's line. Team, Tiger for Eagle. To take his first lead of the match if it were to go in. Got a chance, got a chance! Oh my goodness. How does he hit him right in the middle, Gary? Oh. What I don't understand, Nick, is how you can turn your game around so quickly. It's just, they, you know? they, they love the, the, the intensity. You know, they love this, putting themselves under pressure. It all turned around after he gave the bag a good whacking That's on 13. exactly right. It was <laughs> like he just kind of let it all out. Vented his frustrations on the bag and then... This is just perfect. Right in the center. Pure Tiger. Oh. J.B. Holmes just... Can't believe it. A smug smile. Yeah, well, I guess you yeah. gotta at this point say, you know, it's not like he hadn't done it before. Tiger on a tear. He's got the driver at the 18th tee. Very aggressive play. Yeah, and he's got it teed even lower. He's just going to hit a little power. Uh-oh. Is that all right? Twirl, yep, I wouldn't twirling. say, oh, yeah. now. <laughs> I'd say, oh, my. Well, that's the first one we've seen go off in the straight direction. <laughs> it all came flooding back to him, Nick, as you said, after the 13th hole. And the miscue off the tee. He's got the swagger. He's got the look. He's got the crowd behind him. And he has J.B. Holmes scratching his head, wondering what yeah. went wrong. Yeah, J.B.'s now kind of lost his uh, focus. And, you know, you start looking. Are you looking at yourself from the inside out or from the outside in? Either from the observer to the observed, you know. I would imagine Nick, he has to slow his heart down a little bit here. Oh now, yeah, everything. Because he just can't believe what he's seen the last hour. So it's like he's almost going to hit a kick a touchdown. Got the rocking going. This will be a touchdown. Now a good looking drive here. Should just skirt the corner of the bunker. Sorry, skirt the corner. It was 30 <laughs> yards over it, Mark. <laughs> well, once again, Tiger just short of JB, so I would think that's probably an advantage, Nick. He's got 99 yards to the hole. Yeah, the uh, most important thing, obviously, is the spin factor, that, that length. I assume uphill, that will be his... His gap wedge, middle wedge, can't imagine you get a 60 degree that far. Uh, These two have great dialogue over the years. Tiger has given Steve Williams so much credit for actually 
taking charge in situations when he doesn't feel like they've made the right choice. Tiger could actually be over a golf ball, and Steve will call him off. Hold on a minute. Tiger trusts him. This is not the easiest of 99-yard shots. The wind has picked up a little bit. It's right at their back. You can easily spin the ball off the front of the green, and the left bunker is not good. Tiger coming in very low. Needs to get up. Needs to get up. So the door is ajar. Fairs. Never let the wind carry that ball, Nick. It, it just knocked it down. Yeah, it was a... Ooh, yeah, beautifully done. Absolutely spot on, old chap. Not bad for a first-timer, huh, Nick? <laughs> As we said, he's a, he's a pretty darn good. Uh, what do you think, Mark? Uh, good chance to knock this in? Well, I think he'd be happy with a four. I mean, JB doesn't have the easiest of shots. He needs to carry it up. He's got a very lofted club here. Let's be careful he doesn't make it grab too much on the first bounce. Yeah, he just doesn't want to make a five, that's for sure. Get ball! Shot. He'll take that. Should be conceded by J.B. Holmes. That will be a four for Tiger, and J.B. has to make this putt to extend the match. That oh, was been incredible. Well, here we go. The Tiger, rather the Spider versus the Tiger. It's a bit of a twitch. Wasn't a stroke at all. Tiger Woods notches another incredible comeback in his match play history and moves on to round two, defeating J.B. Holmes one up. We'll join Steve Sands. Gary, thank you. Tiger, do you turn a switch from off to on onto the 14th tee box? I wish that was the case. Uh, I just kept telling myself, even though I was three down, I could still win it uh, in regulation. Um, obviously, it's not going to be easy to do. I'm going to have to you know, obviously hit the ball a hell of a lot better than I was. But um, I felt like I was putting good, just give myself some looks at it. And then all of a sudden, um, putts start falling in from everywhere. What were you thinking the first 13 holes? Uh, it was not pretty. I was just uh, hoping I could just hang in the match and turn it around somehow. And every time I, I get it, uh, I get some kind of momentum on my side, I, I go ahead and mess up. And you know, I gave him three holes with bogeys. And you just can't afford to do that in match play. And uh, I was, you know, obviously very lucky to get, uh, get through this round. Good job. See you tomorrow. Thanks, buddy. Mark, let's go to you. All right, thank you very much, Steve. JB, if you can, describe what's going through your mind right now. Nothing. I got beat. Nothing, nothing to go through my mind. Was there a point during that backside when you thought you had the match won at all? Oh, you're playing the best player in the world. You can't ever, you know, I was, you know, I got three up with four or five to play, and I was like, well, you know, let's just don't do anything stupid here and make sure, you know, make him make birdies and, uh, you know, make him beat you if he's going to do it. And he did. You know, he, he started making tons of putts, and that's just, you know, not much you can do. What, he played the last, you know, five or six under in the last four or five holes? I mean, what do you do? All right, congratulations. <laughs> you hung tough. Thanks.